Transient tachypnea of the newborn is a common, benign, and self-limited condition. It can occur in infants of any gestational age, but it's more common in babies born before 39 weeks of gestation, particularly in cases of elective cesarean deliveries without labor. There are several other risk factors in addition to cesarean delivery, a few of which include prematurity, male sex, macrosomia, twin gestation, maternal asthma, and maternal diabetes. Newborns present with respiratory distress within minutes to hours after birth. In addition to tachypnea, that is, a respiratory rate faster than 60 breaths per minute, signs on inspection may include grunting, nasal flaring, chest retractions, increased anterior posterior diameter of the chest, also known as barrel-shaped chest, and in severe cases, cyanosis, which if present would respond well to oxygen supplementation. Chest auscultation typically reveals normal breath sounds, however, Breath sounds may be diminished and crackles can be present. Other than that, there should not be any evidence of systemic illness or infection. Characteristic chest x-ray findings include Mild hyperinflation, as noted by increased lung volumes with flat diaphragms Perihilar streaking, that is, prominent perihilar pulmonary vascular markings and fluid within the interlobar fissures. There may also be small pleural effusions and a slightly enlarged cardiac silhouette. Depending on the severity of the condition, it may be reasonable to initially defer the chest x-ray for a brief period of observation. Improvement during this time may obviate the need for imaging studies. Further workup is determined on a case-by-case -case basis and may include arterial blood glass analysis, glucose screening, and a septic screen, amongst other investigations. Management is supportive it is vital to ensure adequate nutrition and maintain thermal neutrality. Despite the benign nature of the condition, these newborns are often admitted to the neonatal intensive care unit for continuous cardiopulmonary monitoring, respiratory support, intravenous fluids, or oral gastric tube feeding. Antibiotics are also frequently provided since transient tachypnea in the newborn can be hard to clinically distinguish from early neonatal sepsis and pneumonia. Signs and symptoms often resolve within 12 to 72 hours. Resolution of symptoms within this time span confirms the diagnosis. Alternatively, evaluation for other causes of respiratory distress is prudent if symptoms persist beyond 72 hours after birth or if the newborn requires intubation or a fraction of inspired oxygen greater than 40%.